Okay, guys, uh, you asked for it, you wanted it. So uh, I, uh, after this video four days ago, it was a lot of critique, mostly negative on Reddit, also discussion on Twitch. So we came to some very, very constructive uh, conclusions. And I also get uh, some uh, pretty good new ideas. So for Raynor instead of Raven that I originally suggested, uh, I think, um, okay, uh, some people suggested me cheaper mule, uh, not cheaper, sorry, sorry, uh, double mules back as it was uh, at the start. I think instead, because it was removed, it's kind of like now to bring it back. And I think it would actually maybe even be too OP uh, to bring uh, the cheaper scans. So scans to cost 25 minerals that would help against certain mutators or on maps like Mall Warfare if you get composition with like the, the Templars to, have, to be able to scan more without uh, damaging economy too much. Uh, and instead of Raven to get Spectre because Spectre was in the Wing of Liberty campaign as part of the Tosh, Tosh's uh, uh, units. Uh, like uh, we don't have Tosh as a commander here, uh, like in Nexuscope. So Rainer could be uh, use of Spectres. Uh, Kerrigan. So for Kerrigan, one thing: Kerrigan's army is kind of pretty uh, weak uh, and requires her to back. Uh, army up, but hero is very strong, hero is definitely very strong uh, in uh, all, pretty much uh, all prestiges, okay, for P0, P1, P, uh, uh, it kind of sucks a little bit against air, but you have immobilization wave, so <coughs> one thing for Kerrigan uh, that we kind of agreed on my stream is uh, that she needs to get out at 3 minute mark and not at 4 minute mark, because if you compare other uh, heroes uh, that come out at 4 minutes, Zagara can have Banelis. If you uh, look at like uh, Rifts to Korhal, uh, which is the map where the uh, enemy uh, attack comes the earliest and also Void Rifts, which is really early hitting mutator, Zagara can have Banelis and also fast, mo uh, fast morphing Zerglings. Uh, then uh, we have Alarak has Structural Overcharge, we have uh, uh, Nova, he can build uh, railgun turrets, which are pretty good, and they can be repaired. And all also uh, f for marines with uh, with uh, defensive drone, uh, Phoenix can uh, rush out Kaldalis. Uh, okay, uh, then we have Zeratul. That uh, even without mastery, if you need 800 minerals, you can still have a legion in time. Uh, Statman can build spines. So can Kerrigan, but Statman Spines don't have to build, uh, be built in creep and also structure more freight makes it, them build very fast. They can be repaired and then later, if they survive the first uh, the, the encounter, of course, you can send them to uproot them and just send them to clear the rocks. So they are much more useful. While Kerrigan does ha just has shitty Zerglings, which build, uh, which take longer time to build and Spines that are not so reliable as statements and statement can also even have banelings so yeah that's for for it for artanis i would still uh, stick with uh, making archon a little bit more unique and uh, have the plasma blast ability because and of course the 50 percent more the uh, damn more uh, energy pool because he is made uh, archon is made of plasma so plasma bl bl blast would uh, fit him maybe not with bonus damage against massive but some ranged uh, ability with energy cost would be good to make Archon more unique uh, <coughs> and have an additional ability not just the same uh, which uh, the high t uh, which high templars have and also to add artanis as a hero maybe because of units if i think of balance i don't know how would balance units like and uh, lack of self-repair also tags artanis so make artanis like hero not strong as like super gary or kerrigan or even the haka but uh, rather supporting hero like p0 zagara like let's say 200 200 200 uh, 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 health 200 hp with astral wind every like 20 or maybe 30 seconds to heal 100 100 shields and and uh, <coughs> uh shields and hp and also some damage of course dealing for early game 
to be easier for our tennis. So I think that could be actually good at tennis to get here and they also get out at three minute mark. Uh, for Swan, hmm, some people uh, suggested that Swan gets planetary. Absolutely not, because uh, okay, because it fits Lord. If it's Swan's Lord, it can also fit Han and Horner. I don't see why not. And Swan already has very strong turrets that are salvageable. I have a Her Hercules for mobility, multi build. So uh, Swan has turrets. His army is a little bit too. Uh, to uh, takes long time to get. Uh, up, but for that I would actually, I mean, I will be talking about masteries, but uh, that is, uh, uh, oh, 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 I was playing, sorry, 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 I need to go to replace and get, go back because I was uh, Nexus Corps, <laughs> no, no, I have Nexus Corp masteries, okay, sorry guys. Okay, we are back here. So, yeah, I agree with one guy that he said that Immortality Protocol is too situational and that instead I would actually make uh, <coughs> to choose between structure health as it is and Immortality Protocol that's one point per, per uh, one point one percent per point that will be maximum 30 percent increase health. I think that would that could be uh, pretty good for Swan to have uh, even a bulkier army. Even, uh, I mean, stronger, not bulkier in terms of size, because if you go towards, they are already bulky enough. Okay, um, and I think Swan is actually good. N not needed any. Swan is pretty well, pretty good all around commander with uh, both anti ground and anti air, like, doesn't need anything. Uh, okay, uh, Zagara. Uh, so, okay, I mean. Somebody said that uh, Apex Predator is too strong. I don't know. The, I think it's for not. I don't have idea to how to change Zagara. I think Zagara is overall good commander that doesn't require some changing. Uh, P zero is probably not so much viable because uh, so much. Uh, viable because of these three good prestiges but uh, so comes for uh, like the other commanders it's hard to balance the base commander and then you have to change all three prestiges now for vorazun i would stick to this uh, to actually <coughs> Uh, make this disadvantage uh, and even uh, more like 50% to Spirit of Respite but instead of losing Recall because Recall is just really really good and that would actually make uh, people not rely so much on uh, on uh, Shadow Guard and Shadow Guard would still be uh, good to clear the first attack wave and expansion even with 30 seconds just duration and maybe that people would use more time stop time stop unit speed increase and what i would actually make like two uh quality of life changes and that's okay void rays are the best unit on minor evac but actually the worst otherwise so i would uh, maybe add prismatic uh, alignment to them to combine some void rays like anti-air as anti-air with uh with Corsairs because now pretty much everybody always goes like DT uh, Corsair and some Oracles for detection and one thing that I would add to Oracle is the, the thing that it has uh, in versus mode it is a natural detector but it's fragile it's fast and that it means it's always it's um, always it's uh, often runs forward and gets killed so revelation add revelation so you can reveal enemy from distance and that would also a lot more incentivize and help uh, stalker play because I think uh, I think Warazun stalker is actually pretty good units, but they are underused. Okay, so that I think uh, would be uh, pretty good, pretty pretty good to actually uh, have the revelation ability in addition to them being uh, natural detectors. I mean, even Amon's that's uh, go. That's uh, not just Warazun, but Amon's uh, uh, oracles are also natural detects. Let it be, but also give them revelation. That would uh, change it a lot. So with the Siphon, I stick to that, that the effect should kill. Like, and that would be, I think, pretty big buff. And Keeper of Shadows, like, if you have three Shadow Guards, like, a lot of them, they are very powerful, and the disadvantage should be that, that uh, their uh, units are 
uh, units are more expensive but that would also help to use more stalker play because stalkers are pretty cheap and even with the uh, more cost thing they will still be pretty cheap like you can max and stalkers very easily and actually with against some enemy compositions like scatteran you don't lose a lot of them and they have decent damage output and the blink thing is pretty good so i stick to that okay please comment but i think that revelation and prismatic alignment would be a good addition to uh, warazun's uh, unit okay uh then uh, also changing masteries but masteries will be for other video uh carax okay that architect of war other prestiges are good architect of war uh people don't like i also agree although it helped me on some uh, of the hardest mutations like the old memorable boss and also gold is the gold is the void that's up uh, that were uh, architect were absolutely the best solar at not so good because you have a lot of strikes to to kill uh high hp uh reanimators that are not heroic and also like with the trickling units you actually need a uh, uh, strong structures help more than spiro of Adun. um and uh but uh, check out the uh, maguros characters i made a video uh of this so check this video out uh my video was out on friday so check it out uh, it's a pretty good character now now making structures being able to phase every turn maybe even nerf it to every 60 seconds but maybe even 30 would be okay so structures can phase to another location that might be okay for architect of war in that case we will even i think have to nerf the the chrono thing so it doesn't like make them shoot five times faster but uh comment what you think about that um okay abatur i would still stick i think essence hoarder and talent and hoarder and evolution master are all good balanced sometimes p1 is good sometimes sometimes p0 sometimes p2 of uh, p3 i would still stick to getting queen deep tunnel ability without vision like brutalist have that would open new uh new uh luring possibilities where there are more enemies and then you can get uh, 200 biomass kind of relatively uh, fast and then when you get first brutal is it's all easier like because this is pretty good pretty strong mid to late game prestige it just uh, normally takes longer to ramp up i think that would be for a start i don't can agree with free brutalisks and maybe if uh, if you get the first brutalisk uh, for normal biomass and then uh, requirement biomass requirements increase I think it, that would actually still be too OP. Okay. Um, for Alarak, good prestiges. Just to, that one thing that I would make to get, if you want to go Ascendance and Robo, both to, to make, uh, to make uh, the upgrades a little bit cheaper, like say 20% and, and research. Some people said that it should be removed, that, uh, that uh, it should be made like uh, totally Robo Prestige and Nerf Ascendance. I don't know about that. It's actually good how it's, uh, how it's thought of, but um, maybe this advantage should be something else because uh, now you have a very weak Alarak early game. Maybe this advantage should be, I didn't think of that, but uh, for maybe supplicants should uh but if maybe made supplicants cost more than with uh, it should add it to the cost problem so uh so uh, oof, i really don't know if, yeah yet about this maybe it should be actually left as it is but uh the comment what we would do uh, about this for nova tactical dispatcher okay let's say for tactical dispatcher okay uh let's say tactical uh airlift uh cooldown to remove to be removed and uh at cost not added it uh, actually maybe even cost removed so you can jump around as you want just disable griffin because uh griffin is kind of no noob key let's see okay we all love it but you know that would incentivize people to like that like to fight to actually fight instead of spending money to this and that would actually leave more money for spider mines and stuff like that okay 
uh, infiltration specialist. Now the Himeric Welder said that it's the uh, the gen generate because it's just uh, Nova doesn't. I mean, uh, it would be hard to change this prestige now considering we have these two. So uh, and I don't think that give, giving Nova a different kit would help because different kit I think would be just inferior because we have this uh, we have both snipe and uh, penetrating blast which is which are pretty good and jetpack uh, I don't know about that so uh, <laughs> I mean this is the thing that she loses the. Okay, Hollow Deco is not so important, but this she loses penetrating blast is actually a limiting factor. So I don't know. Maybe she should stay as as she is. I don't have anything smart in mind how to change the prestige, and many people still love this prestige. So uh, I mean, I love it too. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of and I wanna be lazy and play filtration, <laughs> especially against some hard mutations. Okay, uh, Stukov. Black Warden, I said uh, to uh, add benches, the tactical jump and uh, make uh, uh, make the compound uh, by default make 15% uh, volatile infested and with mastery it would be uh, 30%. Uh, but maybe we should add this actually to Alexander too to be 15% uh, uh, and then 30 with uh, master. I think that could be in this and it could be enough tactical jump would open some uh, uh, other possibilities and keep in mind that benches can also burrow so that could be a pretty good thing I don't think it would be bad and some people say it would be enough it wouldn't be enough but uh, and it for this advantage I made to, to nerf the bunker play so uh, I mean you could would still have bunkers as a static D and they could uh, also not not completely static they could move but they couldn't produce anything I mean I think it would be good would be good to just uh, not you know when you have Lord of the Horde that's kind of just make bunkers and send dudes where you want them to go you play with 30 40 APM and you win so I think Plague Warden would would still be a lot uh, better like this okay uh, as I, I stick to this original uh, idea phoenix okay unconquered spirit i said that um, instead of uh, nerfing champions i mean their health and uh, and uh, shields and range they should remain the same but i said uh, remove phoenix okay maybe for this would be uh to to maybe it would be a nerf so i still uh, think that the phoenix should be removed for this but then again actually uh, to make uh, avenging protocol um, affect the other affect the army not just champions somebody even suggested uh, removing champions but you cannot do this to phoenix because phoenix revolved revolves too much around champions so we have one prestige that's kind of for the, the phoenix uh, and also you have the mobility while this arbiter thing uh, which I don't know if if even is a bug or it's intended to be like that. Network administered where you use just the champions, uh, and uh, that would be kind of army prestige when you would have a well, uh, there would be a tactical, uh, not tactical, but avenging protocol was, would then be a lot better, but at cost of uh, not having Phoenix. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Let's say it would be maybe uh, that it would uh, make uh, less impact on army, more more less effect, more effect on the champions. But if they if it would have uh, some effect on the army, that then it would be I think really good to have just a big strong army. Okay, um, let's go to the Haka. I really wouldn't change anything to. I think the Haka is fine. Okay, some people said prim primal contender has to be nerfed. I would actually maybe make uh, like pack leaders to not be immune to so many mutators, uh, at least not to the, to the, which was added recently to the double edged, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think the hacker is fine. You still need skill. You need to know what to eat. You need to know when to use abilities. Yeah, it is kind of. Good speed running commander, but uh, let it stay th this way. And so uh, I would be sorry if the Haka would be nerfed, actually.
Okay, yeah, let, let's leave it this way. Han and Horner, as some people say, the 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 the, the planetary fortress is awfully on it, but I will still uh, get it for Han and Horner. Okay, why often? Maybe because it cannot uh, reposition, and because it cannot uh, it, it uh, kind of blocks the ramp or something, but. Mm. Okay, two two agrees. I think some other people agree that uh, planetary should be. So I think it would be a good addition. And as of anti-air, like I've heard that uh, Wing Commanders is weak, Wing Commander, but Zero actually uh, Zero is very good player. I trust him. That Wing Commanders Wing Commander is actually uh, the best Han Horner's prestige. And so you have one prestige for Mira's units and and also Magmites, one for uh, the the Hans units. Uh, so uh, the the Horner units and. Uh, uh, that's the thing good and for galactic gun runners uh, maybe like bombing platforms to uh, no longer kept but at the cost of not having the space station and uh, call in the fleet I think if we remove magmines that would be too much and also removing the early game tool against early waves so I think it, it's a fair trade-off to remove the remove the uh, the other two master master the top bars that uh, the space station and the fleet okay um so uh, okay we're gonna talk about masteries other time as i said because also need some changes for tychus i would leave uh technical recruiter reductive dog walker as as it is but for lone wolf definitely remove the thing that they take the 50 percent less damage so do you have to uh care more for them and uh, be harder to deal like with void drifts and with uh, and you have to be more careful when there are nukes around uh, the minesweeper and similar mutators so yeah i think this advantage is definitely not disadvantage but this advantage as it is is uh, definitely too much the damage boost is enough so remove the uh, damage reduction okay so that that's the thing and uh, Zera tool. Okay, for Zera tool, pretty much everybody agrees that Zera tool is too powerful. So maybe if we get the uh, Legion cooldown to four minutes instead of two, and to make uh, static defense, which is not so static with Zera tool, not to benefit from fragments anymore. So monoliths to deal 10 damage, and because they are already stronger, okay, they cost more cannons, but uh, they are already stronger. They are 200, 200 instead of normal cannons, which are 150, 150, and they deal 30 damage, uh, which normal cannons uh, deal just 20, and they also can have that uh, barrier thingy, so that their damage output actually doesn't. Uh, benefit from fragments anymore i think that would be kind of reasonable uh, uh, uh nerf uh p2 p3 i mean p3 is kind of like against some weaker compositions you can kind of spin to win as ctg likes to say but uh okay it is it is a lot weakest prestige so uh, if you count like mutations so i wouldn't uh nerf this but anaxan definitely requires a little bit of a buff to the super cloak to, to have uh, 20 uh, seconds because it's not like nova it's just uh, occasional like you can have it every three minutes and last for only 15 seconds so i would make it 20 seconds to be more uh to more viable and we didn't get this nerf to cannon when uh, choosing cannon structure uh, cannon strategy on some maps actually it would incentivize players to use more of this uh, prestige okay uh, and that uh, statement 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 signal savant would it be good to make satellites that detectors I think that could actually be a good addition to this because then um, you know it would be good for investor play. I was even thinking of having satellites like uh, more in addition to what they what they have already with this prestige to give them kind of more uh, uh, boosts like 20% more or so. But then probably units would be too fast or something. I mean you have the the stats and bonuses mastery which pretty much you always use unless you go banelings 
Um, best body. I still think that it should here be a, okay disadvantage. Yeah, maybe disadvantage. But what I suggested is that uh, you lose the uh, you, that it's completely disabled and uh, that it cannot. Uh, uh, if it loses stat zone and it cannot uh, exit uh, the stat zone on, the, on its own, that it's not enough because it really would happen. <laughs> but I can think of what uh, the other disadvantage uh, would actually be. Uh, but uh, of course, I've suggested to revamp that the advantage would be that Gary uh, has more abilities and like ability cooldown instead of more health and uh, and damage. That would actually be good. But for this advantage, pff, I don't think that disabling any of units would be a good idea. But uh, <clears throat> but definitely make it totally disabled outside of stead zone. But uh, maybe I'll add some other disadvantage that I currently can't think of. Like uh, this is uh, old Baron is I think good, but. Uh, Maybe a little bit more thoughts needed about this best body, how to make this uh, make this uh, better to be more trade off because it has no top bars. So I cannot uh, remove those. Uh, mm. Maybe actually to remove Gary zone. Yeah, to remove Gary zone and that and the other ability called on to have to be more used that could be a uh, that might be okay ish. So kind of limited overall map presence, but have a, uh, you know, better support for your army. That uh, I think that could be fair. I think that could be fair. And for Arcturus, uh, Earth Splitters, those damn Earth Splitters should cost, I think, at least uh, three times more. So it'll make them 300, 300, because I also don't like uh, uh, like them sp uh, spamming them and that they can help. Like, at least 50% uh, of mutations make them not a thing, you know, just Earth Split from her home and kill stuff and Rift to Korhal, of course, like normal missions, of course, and a lot of mut mutations. Oblivion Express, Rift to Korhal, even Void Trashing, Vermilion problem. Like uh, there's a lot of maps where Earth Splitters can do a lot for you. So uh, <laughs> I think they are too powerful, and I think pretty much most people agree on that. Principal Proletariat is, I think, good. Uh, some pe somebody suggested that the Royal Guard should uh, not cost uh, more supply, but that would be a nerf because you wouldn't have a you would have a weaker mandate generation, and you really need support like. Uh, throwing down bunkers or using their early game, so that wouldn't be that would actually be a nerf. Uh, and uh, merchant of uh, death, uh, I think it's fair because uh, still kind of struggles against compositions with a lot of splash damage like storms. So I think this is all fair. Okay, toxic tyrant, uh, yeah, it's. He first splitters would at least cost more that at least we can do. We cannot remove them because it's all one whole prestige revolves around them, so uh be too much work to think something else. Okay, so these are my thoughts. Please uh I think this is better than my, than the first thing that I uh did. So uh, please comment what do you think. Thanks for watching.